Alright guys, how you doing? This is uh, Luca King from, from the BitFeed. Just doing a quick review on, on Simple Token. We've already written a review on, on the BitFeed.com uh, about, about uh, Simple Token in a little bit more depth. I'm just going to review it very quickly for those of you who don't or haven't heard of the Simple Token in, in general terms. Um, so basically Simple Token is, is, is going after this problem. It's essentially tackling the ICO bubble problem where all of these businesses and all of these projects are unnecessarily raising money uh, via an ICO, um, and and you know doing a crowd sale and going through through that entire process, listing on a, on an exchange, where in actual fact they don't need to go through that entire process because to do that requires um, a lot of expertise, firstly, but then also also a lot of governance uh, and proper you you need to be constrained to the proper regulation just to make sure that um, you're adhering to investor relations and whatnot. Uh, and while this space is fairly unregulated, I think that this is actually going to become a really big problem down the line. So, Jason Goldberg, the CEO of um, the CEO of Simple Token, basically said that you know, look, we're in a we're in a in a in an ICO bubble right now, um, and it's really important that businesses that don't need an ICO and don't need a list on an exchange shouldn't, and they're building a platform to facilitate um, communities being able to essentially have their own tokenized community, have a tokenized ecosystem. Without having to go through all of that, so so if you think about it and liken it to something in the internet era, that would be like the WordPress for blockchain and allowing all businesses and all companies to be able to tokenize some part of their business and still be part of of the blockchain ecosystem. Um, and I, I just want to talk first. I, I was I was part of the Simple Token ICO um, when they went through it, and I saw firsthand how professionally they handled. And it's probably the most professional ICO that I've been through, other than um, Pundix and Ivycoin. Um, but basically, I just want to go through quickly a couple of things that they went, the the different steps that they went to to make sure that Simple Token was a success. And this this was the first part that really spoke to the their team um, and their level of execution and why I'm so bullish on them over the next 12 to 24 months. But basically, it took them eight months to get to the point um, of where they're definitely going to do an ICO. And, and eight months is a very long time, uh, especially in the blockchain world. So there's a lot of temptation to just jump in there and do the ICO, but they went through the, the proper regulation and spoke to as many lawyers as possible. Um, they, they spent, I think, $500,000 just talk yes, $500,000 on legal fees alone with 30 full-time in-house resources, 40 extended team members, um, you know, spoke to big four accounting firms. They went through all the necessary measures, spoke to the regulators. Um, and you, you should read, definitely read this, this piece by Jason Goldberg, the CEO, about you know what what measures they went to to ensure that it was a success, success and that over time when when regulation comes in and the SEC starts to dip their fingers dip their toes rather um, in the in the ICO space just in terms of regulating it um, they'll be very very safe um, so that's another reason why if, if you're looking to minimize risk on the regulation front um, simple token is something that, that they've gone to the necessary measures to make sure that that they're they're um, protected cool so so just just that's just that's just the ICO uh, and why I'm so bullish, just purely based on execution at the ICO level. And and when you're dealing, when you're when you're investing on in in cryptocurrencies, you only have sort of those first touch points to make judgments based on the team execution. And that was the first touch point I had. So, um, a strong positive there. And then just to go quickly into um, the team, just a little bit. Um, and I, I mentioned Jason Goldberg a lot on my Twitter, but basically, Chase, Jason Goldberg, I've been following him for the last five years. Um, he's worked on huge, huge projects. Not all of which have succeeded, but they've they've scaled. He's he's been at the pinnacle of scaling out these businesses. The the most recent one being Fab.com. Um, the the biggest success. I would call it a success. They raised three hundred million dollars. Um, built out this entire e-commerce ecosystem, and he built it with Sunil, the CTO. So Sunil and Jason have been building products together for, I can't remember off, off the top of my head, 10, 15 years. So, the fact that they've gone through scaled out products together. Um, work well together, have investor relations, have relationships with big corporates as well as the startup community speaks to me as a as a really they 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 all understand the value proposition better than anyone else uh, in this market for why they think the ICO bubble is 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 very prominent and and what what measures they're taking to sort of minimise um, the need to over oversubscribe to ICOs and whatnot. Cool and and their look their their entire team is filled with um, incredible engineering talent. Um, all of which, um, I'm not going to speak to the technology uh, in detail here. And you can read the article, and you can go to their white paper and their technical white paper. But um, Jason Banks, their lead blockchain engineer, is um, renowned within the industry. So I have complete faith. And and you know, they 
unlike a lot of these ICOs putting out white papers, these guys went to extreme lengths to make sure that they covered firstly the commercial aspect of of Simple Token and how they're going to make money, but then also built it, you know, go into depth with their um, with the technical components very, very well. So please have a read of those. They're there available on their um, up here in their in their Simple Token website. All of them here: the OpenST protocol white paper, the Vision Deck, the the protocol and pl platform utility. Um, everything, everything from token economics is all covered here, and, and this is a lot more than I can say about any other cryptocurrency project out there. Um, so big tick on that on that behalf, just in terms of documentation. Cool. So I guess I'll look at instead of going into the price, let's have a look at just um, use cases for for the utility. I guess. So um, Jason's done a great job. Well, the entire team's done a great job building out partnerships uh, for Simple Token targeting big consumer platforms to basically incentivize their communities um, by building in stickiness, by, by creating their own branded tokens using Simple Token as the infrastructure, I guess. So an example might be that um, th their recent partnership with Unsplash, which is, a, um, which is a, a photo sharing application, basically allows photographers and people uploading content to be rewarded in tokens, which they can then convert to Simple Token and sell on an exchange. And Unsplash can use the Simple Token um, protocol and their APIs, free the APIs, they're not free, sorry, um, to to basically build them out as quickly as possible. And and the, the whole idea behind the Simple Token is that you don't need to have blockchain infrastructure to do, to do that. You can have your web developers and your backend engineers um, just sort of plugging in with the API and, and creating those tokens as simply as possible. Um, and then with, with with that comes a range of different use cases. In the consumer platform. So, if you're if you're starting up a consumer platform and you want to incentivize users to use the platform or use particular features, you can you can reward them with your own branded tokens. You can um, you can try to build up the community um, engagement with those tokens. Um, and really, really important things in really, really important things in consumer applications where um, sort of trying to for example, in a marketplace situation, you want to build up both sides of the marketplace. You need to build in proper proper incentives, um, and this is a completely new way to do that. And an innovation, in a sense, in the way that we will start to bring in users and and you know um, incentivize engagement. Awesome. So technology we've already spoken about very very briefly, not not in in depth. I don't want to talk to it in depth because I won't do it justice. Um, and just quickly to the. Just quickly to the use cases again on the consumer level, they provide really basic things, but really important and hard things to do: consumer transaction history, analytics, rewards and incentives, paper go, and then price stabilization me mechanisms so that users feel like their money is safe, um, which is very very important I think in this this day and age. Cool. So let's just talk quickly about key partnerships, um, and I'm just going to read off here just some of the key partnerships that they come out with, and they've come out with some new ones recently, um, Unsplash being one of them, which isn't mentioned in this. Um, so basically there's uh, 704 Games, Testloop, Pe Pepo, which is actually a company that Jason Goldberg started. Um, so that that's sort of like the um, the first, I guess the first user that they adopted and it, it sort of spawned out of Pepo because that's a consumer application that sought the, the, the need for it. So that's how they validated their value proposition from day one. Um, Gush Cloud, Digital Knights, Interview Bit, um, Flow Ship and Zane, and then Unsplash, obviously, which is a very, very uh, popular um, application um, in the community. Cool. Um, and just the, to the professionalism of the their, their social media execution, J Jason's very, very um, engaged in the community, and I've been sort of tweeting to him, and he's been tweeting back to me um, now and then, and just all levels of their communication has been very, very clear. And, and Jason every week puts out a uh, you know, an, a medium article explaining you know what they've been up to, um, what milestones they've been hitting. Um, he's constantly putting out medium blogs on on his thoughts on the industry and really establishing himself as a thought leader. Thought leader. So, when you look at the price of of Simple Token, and, and you can't definitively say that the price will go up with more partnerships or or better communication, but these are things that are indicators uh, for the quality of a team that can execute and become a billion dollar company, um, whether it be in revenues or just in market cap in terms of the cryptocurrency ecosystem. So when I look at Simple Token now, I made a judgment back in when they when they when they ICO'd and I picked up some more down here in the dip um, back when they were about 50 million market cap and I thought that was a ridiculous market cap and obviously it exploded and and I held on to some and I sold some. Um, 
But now they're sort of sitting at this 30 cent mark um, and at a sub hundred million dollar market cap. And I seriously think that symbol token execution has been to the standard of a, of a three or four billion dollar cryptocurrency. Um, even <laughs> even some of those those bigger ones aren't executing as well. Um, and they've, they've just got incredible hype behind them. So right now I see I see Simple Token really consolidating down here at the thirty cent mark, sort of bumping up and down, and I expect that with any good piece of news and 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 partnership, um, we'll see Simple Token really really take off. And right now we're in a bear market, so you can expect that nothing's going to be popping too too high right now. But I think in general, um, in a bear market, it's stabilized. It, this is a great great time to sort of pick up Simple Token and and hold on to it and. and Beyond all else, just see the see the growth of a great. Even if you don't want to buy the token, just see the growth of a great, great um, business. And and they've come out with their products already. I mean, if you go to their products right now, they've come out with OST KYC. And I've spoken about this a lot on my on my Twitter. That basically all these all these cryptocurrencies are doing a really shit job building out their ICO ecosystem. Their their KYC process is terrible. They're getting hacked. They're getting scammed. And because the symbol token um, KYC was so so on point. They've now basically just open sourced their entire KYC compliance compliance kit just with a bunch of APIs, and it's just another revenue source for them. So, um, and and they're providing staging, easy a, a, a dashboard, AML, CTF records, um, fuck everything, campaigns, um, distribute email 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 marketing. So I, th I think this is a this is a firstly a great product that doesn't even have much to do with with. <laughs> With Simple Token, it's just sort of like a way to give back to the community and sort of build out other revenue streams. And then their second, more core product is their blockchain toolkit, which is which is the first version of of what their what the Simple Token product is going to look like, and allowing people to create their own branded tokens. And you just go to their GitHub, you you get get the source code, and you can start using it, um, and and start looking at token design, token economics, transaction history, ledgers, and and all that administration and all that sort of stuff. So right now they they've come out with two key products that are working um they've they've documented it back and front more than anyone else has their team is incredibly um uh, they first they've worked together they've executed together very accomplished in the in the field of blockchain they've got incredible partners and right now i just i just think they're going completely they listed their first they listed on binance which speaks binance has a very very high quality of um listing and that was the first exchange that they went on um and i just think in general it's a great way it, it, it's a great it's a great currency to pick up or a great token rather to pick up um, and I just add to your portfolio even if it's just three four five percent of your portfolio just add it in there um, and I, I I can say with some certainty why well, I, I can say with let me let me rephrase I can say with some conviction on my end that we'll see them have positive price movements over the next 12 or 24 months and, and it, it, I guess when you're looking to invest you're looking to see who can make the most price the, the most positive price movements over over a, a certain period of time. So for me, I see Simple Token as being that just because of their track record of distributing good content, good product, and that'll just catch up and, and it's good karma. Um, and while it's not getting picked up now, I think we'll see it get picked up in the next in the next 12 or 24 months. So you, you might have to hold on for a little while. Um, cool, so that, that's just a little review on, on Simple Token here. Um, not, not too in-depth, but if you want to read the, the complete article, you can go to the bitfeed.com right here, um, read, read the article. Um, you can sign up. For any other and, and get some um you can get some uh, emails from us just about when, when, when we're coming out with new reviews we've done a couple of them now so we've had some really great reception so if you have any ideas for you know what what reviews we should do hit us up um you can get me on twitter at real crypto gains luca king um or you can get moon midas um on that's a co-founder um michael midas and yeah awesome cheers guys if you have any questions hit us up or add comments Add comments below. Take it easy.